Hi folks, welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Today I'm back down on the River Foss looking for some perch again. Uh, this is now part three of Perch Quest on the River Foss. I know they're in here, I just can't catch them. So, I've modified techniques and I asked on one of the Facebook groups and the overwhelming response was to go for drop shotting. So uh, that is what I have done. I've re-rigged my light lure rod setup to fish drop shots and um, I'm just going to rig one up now and throw out here where I actually received some follows for some perch. Uh, last time I was fishing little crankbaits here. So um, there has been a lot of rain recently. We had an enormous thunderstorm earlier today. So it is quite coloured, so that is not uh, in our favour, um, but I've got various baits, so hopefully one of these will bring something and we can land our first big perch from the River Foss. Oh yes, we're in, we're in, we're in. Yes, <laughs> amazing. <sighs> oh. Let's get the net, get the net. <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh absolutely amazing, wow. That is a nice perch, uh, absolutely brilliant. Well, I was just fishing away and starting to think it wasn't gonna happen in this location, when out of nowhere, a nice perch came and absolutely slammed that lure. Let's get him out for a very quick look. Check out that for my first lure caught perch from the River Foss here in York. You couldn't have asked for more. These colours are absolutely fantastic. Really, really dark. The fins are really red. Let's get this guy back in the water for a rest and then slip back. Well, I'm absolutely buzzing after that. I, uh, wow, that was absolutely incredible. Literally, first few casts, I tried one spot, wandered up, tried another spot. 10 minutes or so is the most I'm gonna give it. If the fish aren't there, they're not gonna bite, are they? But literally, I was just thinking about something and bang, it absolutely smashed that lure, choked it down, and we were in to my first ever Foss Perch. I'm going to try and catch another one from this spot now. Um, if not, I might move up or down and um, just have a little shuffle around and see if we can find anything else. But I'm absolutely buzzing about that. Completely made this session worthwhile coming out. Yes, we're in, we're in, we're in. We're in, we're in. Oh, it's a pike, it's a pike. It's a pike. Let's try and get this guy in the net as quickly as possible. Oh, I snapped it. Mm. 
Well, I'm still working on how that works. Obviously, if you're fishing fluorocarbon and for perch, but there are pike in most UK rivers as well, surely you're going to get a lot of pike takes and cut off a lot. So if anyone can tell me how to avoid that, leave a comment down in the description. I feel that there are some little, like, trace hooks you can get that are for drop shotting. So maybe I need to look into that and then that'll avoid any pike cutoffs again in the future. Oh, there's a big swirl just down there. I wonder if I should put a trace on quickly and have a little cast out. Um, it is going to rain very shortly, so I'm actually going to start to head off home. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. After three attempts, I finally made a specific perch fishing video with only one fish, but it was a nice one, and I got very excited about that. So it felt absolutely brilliant to finally be able to hook into just a really nice perch from the River Foss. And actually the first one I've hooked intentionally down here. So if you have enjoyed this, please remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, have a little think about subscribing so you can stay up to date. We've got some more barbel fishing, probably some more perch fishing down here. So those are the videos that will be coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.